What's going on guys, it's Vincent again. Just wanted to give you our video today. Um, this one's gonna be Charles Barkley. Well, first of all, Charles Barkley's falling asleep on uh, open court on NBA TV was kind of funny. That was really, um, but I know that why that's funny to me is because I've been in that position where I've been in either a meeting or, or a place where, you know, everyone's kind of talking, but then you start falling asleep. Yeah, it's, it's funny. If you haven't seen it, go Google it or, Go to NBATV.com or something, just find out. I mean, I I know that feeling. So, I feel you, Chuck. Hey, sorry, we all, it, it happens sometimes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we're talking about uh, your argument about LeBron and Michael Jordan. And this is going to be a topic that we always will talk about every generation, every generation. Well... I mean, it's just like you comparing Michael Jordan to Oscar Robinson or Dr. J before him and Dr. J being compared to somebody else before him. You know, it's just tradition and, and the evolution of the game as every generation goes on. Um, you make a great point. He's just, LeBron is a bigger, faster, stronger version of the players that we would equate as being the best player in the world now would you ever say that lebron is better than michael you, you have to actually put that in perspective first of all the game is not the same lebron's game or the game itself basketball is not the same where lebron's playing now versus michael jordan when he was playing at his prime his prime michael jordan playing at his prime the game the game was not as tic-tac fouls were not as uh, uh, they didn't call it as much so there's definitely more physicality in there and so you you not necessarily had to be stronger but the game was a different type of game back then it was definitely more finesse less power you have of course you still have your Carmelo Malone and and Xavier McDaniels and, and Anthony Mason back then who did play the power game uh, Larry Johnson, you know, Grandma, Ma everyone played the power game, but uh, power and strength wasn't part of the game back then. It was, people didn't really recognize when Michael Jordan came in the game, he was 6'6", 195. He was skinnier than uh, than Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is 6'10", barely 220. So if you shrunk him down, that's basically Michael Jordan's physicality back then. And what he did... I, I believe he was one of the first, if not the first, to start using weight training to gain weight so that he can add more power and more uh, physicality to his game as it transitioned. Um, of course, you know, now that's kind of now regimen in every day's 20, you know, the, the new school game that we see now. You don't see that before when college players were coming into the game. So you're looking at Michael Jordan you know, in his early, in his prime, late 20s, um, he's still looking fairly thin versus LeBron, you know, barely, not even turning 30 still, and he's already, you know, he looks like Carmelo, slim down Carmelo. So, you know, the, the basic play is definitely not the same. So, you can't compare, it's just like comparing oranges and apples, you know, you, you take it with a grain of salt. You, you kind of take his game versus his game there no one will ever play the same so but it is very similar um, but I would I would never compare LeBron with Michael their their game is not is not the same at all I would more compare LeBron's game to Magic's game I would always or even Scottie Pippen's game or someone who can do more than just uh, be the leader of the team because even though he led LeBron led the Heat to the championship, I would still hesitate to say that he is the true leader of that team. I mean, you have a three-headed monster. Michael Jordan has a three-headed monster, but never, no one ever uh, questioned who was the leader of that team. Michael Jordan was the head, the brain, the passion of that team. Scottie Pippen did the, the dirt, the grunt work, the, the sidekick. Dennis Rodman at the time was the cleanup crew. You had complimentary players around him, you know, Luke Longley's and Steve Kerr's. But even before then, you had the Horace Grants who did the dirty, the groundwork. 
you still had Scotty Pittman doing this, the sidekick duty. So really it was a two headed monster with a third option. Now with the heat, it's basically the same thing, but you rely on Chris Bosch scoring a little bit. You rely on, you know, Dwayne Wade doing majority of the, the scoring load. So it's not the same. It's not even the same team. So to compare LeBron and Michael, uh, yeah, LeBron is the figurehead leader of the of the team because he is the the superstar the the highest of the superstars on that team but it's I, I would never I wouldn't say that he is he is in the same um, comparison with Michael Jordan as an individual game now as a team yes my Magic Johnson is definitely the head of the Lakers Showtime team so you of course you got to compare all three of those but remember they're playing different positions you got a guard point you got a guard shooting you got a uh you know small forward to uh, power forward in lebron so you know all of them play different positions they definitely are the heat the leader the the head of that team but just comparing it one by one i would never put that to anybody so i put him a different category because his the game is different uh and his game is tailored made for today's game lebron's game lebron's physical attributes and his skill set is perfect for today's game Michael Jordan was perfect for his, you know, the 90s style game. Now, Dr. J and, and Magic Johnson and Larry Bird was perfect for their day back in, in you know, Showtime Laker and the, 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 uh, the Boston Celtics. So, you know, I, I, I hesitate to compare, you know, anyone. Kobe Bryant is in the same league too, but Kobe is also different. It's a different comparison, so... I wouldn't put that on anybody, so. But I can go. I can go into it some more once we see how everyone plays out. We'll see how everything goes out. So, I'll see you next time.